Want to guess where I am? <laughs> this Florida girl is not in the South anymore, and I've got some big news about some changes in my life, so I will share those with you. But first, I'll let you know, I just want to take guests on where I'm hanging out and getting all the snow. Can you help me? Let's go for a hike, buddy. You want to go hike? Yeah? Let's do it. a lot of wind up here but I really did want to get out of course it's going like crazy pulling so it might not be the right day but I did want to catch up I've got a new microphone that I am testing and I did that little clip at the front three months ago I think and uh, life just got in the way things have been crazy and I want to update you on what's happening but first I'm gonna go that way for a bit Just walked up this way so I could see the view behind me. The trail I was kind of doing is actually a little bit that way. And there's a hiking group right behind us, so that's fine. But we did just meet somebody who was really sweet, a gentleman that um, had treats for Flores, so that was awesome. Forrest and I are going to let that hiking group go on up and I think it would be a little too disruptive for him because he is a little out of practice with his hiking manners. So we're going to head down the road that goes back towards the parking area. But before I do, I wanted to tell you what's up because I promised that I had big changes and I have. Uh, it is late January now and back in June, I guess, when I was getting ready to hike the Colorado Trail, I had absolutely no idea that I'd be living here in Colorado, which is an amazingly beautiful place. But as I was getting ready to hike, literally the weekend that I flew out to start my, uh, my trek, Andy had an interview for a job in Boulder, and he took it, and he's been living out here. And after I got off the trail, I had a lot of family things to attend to back in Florida, and I actually had literally moved my domicile to Florida because I thought that was where I was going to be for a while. But ultimately, I decided to come out and join Andy and set up home base here, and that's what I've done. We each had big storage units with all our stuff in them, which we had packed up before we even started van life. So it was a lot of stuff to load. We had to get a big old 26 foot truck and the van and drove out here from Atlanta. It took us three days. And right as we get ready to move, we found out the apartment we planned on renting. It was a condo, it had water damage, and we couldn't move in. So we had to quickly revert to plan B. And then it took weeks of just a DIY move again. And right before Christmas, um, got settled. I actually had to take another trip back to Florida, so I flew back for a week or so. 
and then came back to Colorado and then finished unpacking boxes and we're finally getting settled. I kind of got behind on YouTube, as y'all may have noticed. Um, if you did, I appreciate you. Thank you for noticing. Planning on getting back to hiking and although I'm not living in the van full time right now, I will be van lifing part time and doing trips all around Colorado, probably up to Wyoming and Utah and checking out things just in the local area in the West where I have really not spent any time in my adult life. I travel out here as a kid, but not as an adult. So I'm super excited about that. I do hope to get out and redo the Colorado Trail from start to finish. Uh, so redo the first half um, and do the whole thing over three weeks if I can get in shape and be healthy again this year or healthier this year than I was last year since that was really a tough, tough uh, slog. <laughs> and I know it can be an absolutely amazing adventure if I'm healthy. So I'm going to be hiking a lot and maybe hiking some 14 or Stay tuned. Make sure that you subscribe to get notified when I put new videos up and like as well because that really helps YouTube know that my channel has got good content and it helps put it in front of other people who might like to see the same things that you do.